Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you perspective from five different chart analysts, and it's clear to me that we may be experiencing effectively the calm before the storm. And various analysts are going to have different expectations in terms of when we hit a new all-time high for Bitcoin, though, let's be real, we do all expect that's going to happen, right? <laughs> Even non-analysts like me believe that. Um, but there's kind of a question is, is it actually going to happen this year? Could it happen that quickly? Because things do happen fast in crypto, or are we going to have to be waiting further into next year? And what does that mean for the price action for XRP? I'll tell you, there's one analyst who says that a dollar and five cents for XRP is still in play in the short term. And he says that XRP is actually oversold. Then I have another analyst um, I'll share with you the full perspective a little bit later in the video, but uh, still, if you're looking big picture, insists that $27 XRP is still in the cards. But uh, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby. In just four fun. As I record this video, XRP is at 61 cents, so much of the last 36 hours or so in particular has been uh, pretty sideways looking here. You got Bitcoin at 36,760 bucks. Uh, you got the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 69 out of 100, so people have been feeling the same for a hot minute here, and despite some notable volatility over the past seven days, it's mostly been a lot of sideways trading if you look back here, but it ain't going to be, stay, be staying like that for long, I suppose. Um, in fact, here is a post, and I did share this one uh, yesterday. It reads in part, this is from Credible Crypto, one of my favorite chart analysts out there. He wrote in part, uh, Bitcoin is refueled and ready to continue the moon mission. And um, that, was, that was literally yesterday. Now, less than 24 hours later, somebody named Jaden responded to him on social media platform X and wrote, it's done nothing, cred, dot, 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 a bit concerning. And again, nothing against this individual, but um, at that point, I think it was about 18 hours later and Bitcoin had moved. So just because he's saying that Bitcoin's ready to go right then, it doesn't mean it's going to be at the snap of a finger. He's just saying, here's what I'm seeing in the charts. Here's the reasons why. And I went through a lot of that yesterday, so I don't want to reread literally everything. Uh, but he did respond to that. Credible Crypto responded to Jaden and said, do not mistake consolidation for weakness. Now, Credible Crypto still thinks the most probable outcome in terms of Bitcoin price action is a new all-time high this year. And he's one of the only ones out there that believes that. And I hope he's right. Sometimes the minority opinion absolutely is correct. And, and you know, most famously, when I think about that concept, I think back to the blockchain backer, he had a, a, a deeply held view, which was a serious minority position, and he hit the nail on the head. When he called the top for Bitcoin, that was the top, and everybody under the sun was calling the blockchain backer crazy. He was not crazy. He was correct. So, <laughs> Credible Crypto, although he holds a minority position here, doesn't mean necessarily he's going to be wrong. I hope he's right, but timeline can be hard to nail here. You know, the interesting thing, though, is that a lot of other reputable analysts out there say, you know, even, even though they don't necessarily agree that's likely to happen this year, they think it's going to happen very soon. I mean, we're at the end of 2023 already. Time be flying, son. Um, and so to drive that point home here is chart analyst Income Sharks. He just shared this Bitcoin USD chart, and he wrote the following. Hashtag Bitcoin. I don't see how we don't range here for a bit while punishing leverage traders and causing the impatient traders to sell prematurely. Some wicks outside of the range will most likely be traps. And you know, that's actually fairly in line with what Credible Crypto is getting at. Consolidation, okay, reasonable. He's saying, he's saying that doesn't mean that it's some sort of weakness. And Income Sharks thinks that it's pretty reasonable to expect that we're going to be moving sideways, per, perhaps for the remainder of this year. And we'll see what, what happens. Now, of course, there can be wild card events that could occur. And uh, there's something that would be potentially a big event, though maybe you wouldn't want to call the wild card because it's so well known at this point, but it's uh, approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs. And look, I'll talk about more about this probably in a separate video, but I'll just say this. Even if we do have some sort of blast off for Bitcoin, which is pretty reasonable to surmise, it doesn't mean that it's going to be something that is long lived. Not necessarily, there could be a move back to the downside. And either way, I don't care that much. I mean, yeah, the excitement's always fun when that stuff happens. We all, we all feel it's okay to have fun when neat price action happens. 
But the broader implications, the greater implications for all of us would be over a much longer time period as real money flows in. But when the news breaks, that doesn't mean that all of the money that will flow in over the span of years and decades is now in. It will take time. But that is something that could happen at any moment. That can happen this month in November, could happen in December, and maybe it'll happen in January. I mean, the latest it's going to happen, if, if, if I'll tell you, if these spot Bitcoin ETFs are going to get approved, the current batch, we're going to know by March at the latest. And, and again, we're almost at the end of 2023, so we're not going to have to wait that much longer. So all that to say, yes, this year we absolutely could see some incredible price action, even if it's true that we don't see a Bitcoin, a Bitcoin all-time high this year. It doesn't mean we won't see incredibly exciting price action this year. Uh, here's perspective from chart analyst Crypto Caesar, shared also a, a Bitcoin price chart, USD, and he wrote... 48 slash 50K is the max I see Bitcoin trading this year. All-time high comes in 2024, in my opinion. The four-year cycle continues to grind. We made this call about a year ago and continue to think this was the correct call. Time will tell. And so there you go. Somebody who is obviously an analyst who's way on the bull side, fantastic, happy to see that, um, just doesn't think that it's going to be happening this year. And then you always kind of wonder what are the implications for everything else? Because, of course, Bitcoin does lead the market. Well, here is what chart analyst Dark Defender had to say about XRP. And this is an XRP USD chart on your screen. And he simply wrote the following. Corrective structure in four-hour time frame is over. XRP is in the oversold area now. We can expect a move to 66.49 cents first. Our five-wave structure has not been invalidated because XRP closed above the 61.31 cent daily uh, daily freight. And so again, I'll just pause and note, at the time I'm recording this also, XRP is at 61.49 cents. And then Dark Defender says, weekly frame is in progress. We will check whether it closes above 61.31 cents. And then he, he wraps this up by stating, 87 cents to $1.05 is still in play. So there you go. That concept, he, he insists, is not invalidated here. And it looks like that would be, if it's going to happen, uh, potentially in the relative sh short shorter time frame. Then you have this from uh, chart analyst E. Greg Crypto. And uh, she shared also, it's just an XRP price chart. And he said, the XRP, the X factor, Fib 1.618, $27. Now, okay, folks, just to be clear, doesn't mean it's going to be happening tomorrow. And I don't know if this is going to be hit during this upcoming market cycle, would love to see it, even though I'll have sold all my XRP well before that, should that occur. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I'll be right there championing on everybody that sells at prices higher than me. That's fine. Um, but I don't, I don't know if it's going to happen, but I don't think it's crazy. I don't think that the idea of $27 XRP is crazy. Nobody knows for sure how I could go. Uh, you know, the, the stuff where, where people start to lose me, if, if, if people start to believe that we're going to see three-figure XRP this market cycle, then you start to lose me a bit. <laughs> you know, if you're starting to get way, way, way up there. Um, and, and not that we couldn't see $100 plus XRP in the future. I don't think that that's crazy either. It's just, if you're talking about that type of time frame, I mean, I just don't think there's going to be enough money flowing into crypto as an asset class that quickly over the next year, year and a half, whatever it might be, uh, to see that happen. But, uh, yeah, not, not crazy big picture necessarily. But anyway, he continues and he says, this upcoming monthly close holds immense, immense significance. And then he shares a couple of outlooks, the bearish one first and then the bullish one. So here's the bearish outlook. XRP teeters on the edge of FIB 0.5. If November concludes below it, coupled with a bearish candle formation, brace for XRP's potential drift into the yellow triangle territory. Okay, that sounds very sad, sad. But here's the bullish outlook. Should XRP clinch this month's close above Fib 0.5, specifically around 60 cents, 61 cents, it'll mark the first monthly candle closure in an upward trend. And let's pause to note, uh, that's a very close price point to what Dark Defender is talking about, right? And then E. Greg continues and says, previous closures were in a downward trend, recalling the December 2017 candle's top blow-off and April 2021's bull run candle. And so, folks, that's an important point. Breaking a downtrend. You don't have to be a chart guy to understand the importance of that. I'm not a chart guy. I don't want to be one. <laughs> but I, this is a very simple concept to understand. And then he says, this closure sets the groundwork. 
XRP's monthly price won't revisit these ranges. It's akin to constructing a tower. Foundations take time and remain unseen by the public, much like XRP's trajectory. XRP Army, stay steady. $27 will form the sturdy bedrock for future prices. Now, there you go. I hope that happens. <laughs> I really do, because look, XRP, as you all know, it's my largest individual crypto holding. I'm, I'm counting on that being a large part of where the life-changing wealth comes in for me. So uh, I'm just going to continue to be patient here. But I think that we really do, no matter which analyst you think is most likely correct, Bitcoin always leads the way. And I think the best times are yet ahead. We've been waiting so long as a community. We've gone through so much as XRP holders with the SEC nonsense and everything else. I'm putting up with the toxic freaking Bitcoin maxi trolls. But we're almost there. We're, we're, we've never been so close. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.